Good afternoon and welcome to a very special, very, very short photo, Joseph's photo moment. I got a new box and I know what's in here and I wasn't planning, I didn't think this was coming until tomorrow, but I can't do this for tomorrow's show because I already have a show. So I figured, hey, what the heck, let's just unbox this thing and see what it is. Now, I know what it is, but I've never actually seen one of these in person before. So I'm really, really excited about this. I hope that you guys are excited about this. Now, this is not one for me to keep. This is, uh, this is a temporary one because this is not the kind of gear, not the kind of lens that I really need that much. But, of course, I asked to have one for a little unboxing on the show. The brand new Leica 200 millimeter F2.8 Lumix lens. Oh yeah, baby. Let's see what we got here. So, let's see what this is. Oh, with the included 1.4x teleconverter. I kind of, I think I knew about that, but I think I also kind of forgot about that. Let's see here. Oh, my overhead's a little on the uh, narrow side. Let's see here. That's good enough. There we go. 200 f 2.8 with the 1.4x teleconverter. This is a thing of beauty. This is huge. Let's get into it. Let's do this. This is a very nice new box. I should be nice to this box. I gotta send this to other Lumix ambassadors after this. Ooh, I think this is actually brand new. Never actually been opened before. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Interchangeable lens for digital camera. That's what it says on the tin. All right, let's find the right way in. That appears to be the bottom. That appears to be another box. And here we go, all right. Oh, it's lighter than I would have expected, given the weight of the whole, smaller than I would have expected. Still, you know, when it comes to really big lenses like this, you still think like full frame. And you forget that that is a 200 millimeter f2.8. Look at that thing. Let's get, a, let's get an overhead shot of this thing of beauty. Let's get this out of my light path there. There we go. Very, very nice. Very solid. Obviously heavy compared to other micro four thirds lenses, but not heavy for its size. Got your... Aperture ring from 2.8 to 22. So I love having the actual ring on the lens. Really, really nice to have that. Solid switch over into the A for aperture for automatic. Focal distance, you've got your full to three meter minimum. So let's go, uh, let's go for this close up here. And so yeah, so we've got the full or three to infinity. So that way, if you're doing stuff that's a little bit a uh, little bit farther out, you don't have, you know it's not gonna be closer than three meters. You can put that on, it'll take less time to focus. Memory button, this is, oh, let's see, our call says different states in here. So call up a position, a position. I'm not sure what the memory one itself does, and then FN, I know you can customize the function button. I'm not sure what the difference is between memory and call. We're gonna have to find that out. Over here, we've got our autofocus manual focus switch, and then of course the power optical image stabilization. So combined with a GH5 or G9 or G, uh, that has the dual in-body stabilization, or the in-body stabilization, you're gonna get the dual, and that's going to rock. And there's a little tripod collar there. Excellent, so you can mount that on your tripod and rotate the lens. Let's get that back. There we go, rotate the lens freely within that. Okay, excellent. Let's see what else is in the box in here. Got is it a, no, okay, no built-in lens shade. At least, maybe not, maybe I gotta pull more. Let's, we'll find out in a moment here. I know there's that 1.4X teleconverter in here too, which is very exciting. Let's see, is that everything out of the box? It's everything except for the manual. I may actually read the manual on this one just to see what all those buttons do. And let's open this guy up. What have we got in here? Open that. Oh, okay, so there's our sh our lens hood. And what is this little guy here? That is, that is, that must be the teleconverter. Oh, it's so tiny. It's like a tiny little lens. 1.4x teleconverter, excellent. Very nice, very tiny. That is really small. Barely gonna add anything to the whole, the whole rig. Overhead here, nice big lens shade. That is, that is a robust lens shade, I'm gonna say. That's probably the biggest lens shade I've seen on a Micro Four Thirds kit. It's got a bag for carrying the lens and a bag for the micro, for the teleconverter, and it's got the tripod mounting plate. Ah, oh, yeah, there, there we go. So you can put this onto here and get a, a that type of a tripod mounting plate. You don't need it. I guess it depends on your head, because you could put the head directly into this. Probably just depends on what your gear is. This is on the 100 to 400 too. It kind of, when you're hand holding, it tends to kind of get in the way. So it's nice to not have that on there. At least not to have to have that on there, I should say. Alrighty, well, shall we uh, Shall we put this thing on the camera? I got my G9 here. Let's take off that 12 to 60. Still loving that 12 to 60. Let's get this guy on. It's so pretty. It's so big. All right, that's in. Look at the size of that front element. That is a, that is a swimmingly large front element. If we put this thing on there, 
Then it's huge. I need that. It's not, you don't need that. Let's just do this. We'll put it at full focal and we should, oops, turn the camera on, we should have a view through the switcher and, and we do. Excellent. Ooh, mystery camera. What's that over there? Hmm, interesting. So that, and then we're at two, hey, let's try to get down to two eight. I don't know. There's like, you know, we're trying to look at things in my studio here. Well, that's a nice view. Look at that. That's tight. That is beautiful. That is a long lens. That, there we go. So it's a 400 millimeter equivalent. And um, that's about the only thing I can show you in here because I really don't have anything far enough away to show you properly. But there we have it. Now I do, ooh, I'm curious about, let's just put the teleconverter on there, shall we? Kind of want to see what happens with that. So I don't know if one is supposed to go on first over the other. We'll play it safe. Oh, that's interesting. The big old, here, let's get that back into the shot here. The big old protrusion on there. Oh yeah, so it has a special cap. You can't just use any cap there. It has a special cap to protect that protrusion. Very nice. All right, let's get that onto here. And slide that into place. You're very careful, slide that into place. There we go, that's on. All right. So now, what does it say, 1.4x? So someone quick do the math. Oh, that makes it a uh, 280, is that right? No, that didn't do that right. Did that right? Yeah, that's right, 280 mil. Yeah. Look at me that way. All right. Decimeter back on. Let's go back to. There we go. Yep. Def okay. Look at how steady that is. May I remind you that I'm hand holding a 280 millimeter. So that's what a 560. Is that right? Am I doing that right? 560 mil equivalent in full frame. Hand holding. And look at how steady it is. I'm going to take my finger off the shutter. I'm going to turn off stabilization. And so we have stabilization completely off now. So there's handheld with no stabilization on. You can see it's obviously jumping. Now, let's find that stabilization button. Where did it go? Okay, there it is. All right, so stabilization off and let's focus again and stabilization on. Good Lord. I mean, seriously, you'd think that I just put the thing on a tripod. That is, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, there we go. There's your unboxing. There's your first look. I what do you guys think? Let's see what's going on in the chat here. Burnsec was busy watching bad lip reading. <laughs> Send me the link to that. I got to see that Zuck's thing. Um, that's funny. All right. Uh, we're talking about the cables. Gentlemen, we don't need to talk about the cables on this show. It's a family show. Burns text says, so as I understand it, you should tripod mount the lens and not the camera body. Correct. This is to keep the body from holding the full weight of the lens. Correct. That is right. So it's not that you can't hold it like this. But there's so much weight, this is so much weight compared to what this is normally holding, that yeah, you should put your tripod mount on the lens here. Now, I'd have to look to see is there, is it kind of like a long-term thing? Is it more, if the center of gravity is this far off, that it is going to make it harder to move on the tripod. Certainly having the center of gravity, the weight more in the center of gravity, is that right? Am I saying that right? Is going to make it more comfortable to move on a tripod, especially a video tripod. But um but for safety security reason, I don't know how critical that actually is. Uh, I don't think that you could really bend this, not without giving you a really good smack, but but that's a, uh, you definitely want to. I mean, it's there, that's what it's there for. I would definitely do it. Um, APN TV says, new toys, you got it. Mike Walker looks great. Do we know how much this beast will retail at? That is a fabulous question. I thought about looking that up before I started the show, and then I forgot to. Let's just see if it is over at B&H right now, because that would be the place to look. Let's just go B, oops, let's turn up the right URL, b &H Photo. And let's bring this screen up here. There we go. And we're going to do Panasonic, Panasonic, like uh, 200, 2.8. There it is. This comes in at $29.97, $3,000. That makes this, I may make this the priciest lens in the lineup. It is also the fastest long lens in the lineup. Uh, and if you're doing this kind of work, that is the price of entry. Hey. That is a beautiful thing. And I know you spend, I mean, for 400 mil Canon, Nikon, Canicon, Canicon and Pentax lens, woo, you're paying probably quite a bit more than that. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to get out and shoot with this thing. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to show this to you because I wanted to use it tomorrow and I wanted to do the unboxing for you all. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's regularly scheduled programming. Toodles. Toodles.